Hi, folks. It's Chocolate Yoda, spelled Y-O-D-D-A-H, because film studios are litigious. And today I want to talk about racism. Um, I've had direct experiences with racism. Many of them were violent. And um, as I grew up, because it started when I was nine, and as I grew up, it just became more and more bewildering. Like, it doesn't make sense to me, right? Like, to be um, enraged, like, there's a few forms of racism, but let's talk about someone responding to the color of someone's skin. It seems to me that to be enraged at the color of someone's skin is just dumb. Like, it's literally the most superficial thing about a human being, you know, and when, and when we talk about the things that separate human beings in terms of just biological differences, all of those differences are contained in one-tenth of one percent of DNA. All of the differences, if you think about skin color, hair color, eye color, eye shape, bone structure, et cetera, et cetera, down the line. Like there's a lot of things that are uh, these differences that we recognize in, in different races, quote unquote, different races, because really there's only one race. But if you think there are different races, uh, I'm sorry, if you think there are different races, then you have to understand that all those differences are superficial, right? So to see a different skin color, whether it's tan or brown or black or yellow or red or purple or whatever different variation of skin color that there is, um, and and look at that and be enraged by that, that just seems really, really stupid to me. And beyond stupidity, there's a chance that it might be uh, an indication of insanity. I believe it was the uh, the the Department of Health back in the 50s, I, I really need to find this citation, but this is, I'm going off my memory. Uh, I believe that the Department of Health in the 50s, maybe 1958, 59, around there, released a paper on racism. And to make a long story short, their conclusion was that racism was a form of mental illness. And that kind of tracks, right? Like, because it, it just, it, there's no logic to it. There's no logic in finding out that someone is born in a different part of the world or is a different religion or something like that, different quote-unquote nationality, whatever you want to call it. And then they just get upset. You know, like, oh, you're Irish? Oh, my God, you know, or whatever. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. It, it's just like it, my whole life, it never computed, it never registered in my mind as to the validity of being racist. You know, like, okay, you're, you're born in a different part of the world, so very often your skin tone is going to be determined by how much sun you take in, or your genetic vulnerability to the sun. Like, for instance, redheads, right? Um, they're kind of suspect, though, because they're really weird genetically. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> but redheads uh, are sensitive to sun, right? So their pigmentation is sort of a response to that. And so this is, this is not anyone's choosing, I didn't choose my beautiful brown skin tone. I wouldn't trade it for anything. I think it's beautiful, but um, I didn't choose it. It wasn't something that I accomplished. It's just, you know, out of the shoot. This is the color of my skin. So why is it an issue? And even though racism isn't all about color, right? Like we know uh, Rwanda in 1993... 800,000 people were murdered uh, due to racism, and it had nothing to do with skin color. The Tutsis and the Hutus are exactly the same people. 
but because they assigned uh, different vowel sounds to their group, that became the basis of their uh, rivalry. Same with the Sunnis and Shias, same people. Their dispute comes from a disagreement in the role of Muhammad in the Quran. Can you imagine? An intellectual debate is the reason why people have been literally beheading each other in the streets for 1,400 years. I mean, wow. And that's disappointing to me. That's just like, really? This is what you're about? This is what your life is about? You're going to get mad because I think differently about a subject? So mad that you're willing to kill me and you actually do kill me? That's wild, man. Like, it, it just makes no sense. So, you know, it's just food for thought. Is racism crazy? Is it insane? Um, I think it is. I think there's no logic to it, and I think it really does verge on insanity, if not represent, like, real insanity. So, that's just my two cents. Food for thought. Peace, love, and granola. Talk to you soon.